Hello and welcome to a day in 15 minutes UPSC prelims daily current affairs. Today is 21st January 2020 and the topics we are going to discuss is Hyperloop project, Steppy Eagle and Universal Immunization program, Ayurvadi Dolphins, White Rhino and the Youth Collab. So coming to the first topic that is Hyperloop project. This is a news because the proposed Pune Mumbai Hyperloop, uh, that particular project may be scrapped by the state government. So uh, basically Hyperloop is a technology where a system of magnetic, uh, magnetically levitating capsules, it is called as ports, okay, magnetically levitating capsules, small ports that are sent at a high speed through a low pressure tube, okay, and it actually uh, have this tube modular transport system that runs off, uh, free of friction. Okay, so it the main principle is it use linear induction motors in it to control the speed of this uh, ports. So it would also be thrice or four times as fast as a bullet train that is already in action in the country. Uh, it will have an average speed that would be twice of a aircraft. Okay. So how does it work basically? The high speed is achieved as a ports uh, which carries a passenger moves with the magnetic levitation. The speed increases further due to uh, the vacuum condition inside the tube which reduces the res uh, resistance or the friction and thus making it uh, more faster. Okay. So the magnetic levitation it is a method which an object is suspended uh, with no support other than the magnetic field. So it will be held uh, between the, the, the port in the uh, magnetic uh, field. Okay. And once fully developed, it could make the transportation of the people and goods easier, faster and less expensive. Okay. The next topic for discussion is the steppy eagle. So steppy eagle is a migratory eagle. It is uh, sighted near Vijayawada. That is why it is in news. So it belongs to a family called a Asipi tridae and it is uh, endangered. IUCN status is endangered and it is the second largest mi uh, migratory eagle species to India. I am talking about the, um, uh, the eagle species. Okay. It is not second largest migratory species. It is the second largest migratory eagle species. To the country and uh, what is the cultural significance is that the steppy eagle it appears in the flag of Kazakhstan very important and it is also the national bird of Egypt okay so it inhabits in the areas of steppy and semi-arid conditions as semi deserts and it can also be seen in the mountainous region around 2000 to 2300 uh, meter height and in winter the steppy eagle it breeds in Russia Kazakhstan and Mongolia. The next topic for discussion is the Universal Immunization Program UIP. So this is a news because the union budget it is approaching right. So all the eyes are on the allocation of uh, the budget for uni uh, Universal Immunization Program. So it is uh, the program in India it was introduced in 1978 and it was an expanded program of immunization. Okay, so the first three vaccines to be included in this particular uh, program was BCG, that is again tuberculosis, uh, DPT, DPT is diphtheria, uh, pertussis and tetanus and also cholera. So these were the three, one was BCG, one was DPT and the other one is cholera vaccine. These were the first initial vaccines available under uh, the immunization program and the program was very successful it gained momentum in 1985 and it was expanded as the universal immunization program as of now uh, like the, the way we know it and it is to be implemented in all the districts in the country by 1989 to 90 okay two major milestones of uh, this particular uip have been elimination of polio Polio was eliminated in 2014 and the second one is maternal and neonatal tetanus elimination that was done in 2015. Two milestone achievement. One polio, elimina polio elimination and second one is maternal and neonatal tetanus uh, elimination program or elimination in 2015. So the major diseases under this are uh, like nine diseases are there classified. One is diphtheria, one is uh, pertussis, one is uh, tetanus, I have already told you this. Then there is polio, measles, rubella, then severe form of childhood tuberculosis, hepatitis B, then meningitis, pneumonia and uh, pneumonia is caused by <coughs> haemophilus uh, influenza type B. Okay, 
so these are also implement, uh, included in this and nationally sub nationally it is fighting against three diseases one is rotavirus diarrhea very dangerous rotavirus diarrhea pneumococcal pneumonia and then japanese encephalitis okay so the vaccines under uip is bcg now now there is bc uh, earlier also there was bcg so bcg dpt is uh, till there uh, till date it is there and additional are opv that is uh, oral polio vaccine then measles hepatitis b then tt tetanus uh, toxoid is there and uh, japanese uh, encephalitis vaccination is there then hib containing pentavalent vaccine is also there so these are the the pentavalent vaccine is only in the selected states okay so the new vaccines which has been uh, now added is inactivated polio vaccine ipv rotavirus vaccine rvv then measles rubella vaccine uh, mr vaccine we call it as mr vaccine then we have pneumococcal conjugate uh, vaccine that is pcv tetanus and adult diphtheria td vaccine okay so uh, if you want to know more about uh, <coughs> the information regarding uh, mission indra dhanush or the universal immunization program please log on to our website www.neoiascap.com there will be more information so i have only taken the important information you can uh, log on for more detailed information okay the next topic is airavadi dolphin so uh, this is a news because 146 airavadi dolphins were sighted in chilika lake chilika lake is in odisha okay so uh, the dolphin census was uh, uh, taken up in chilika lake and the off coast of odisha so the chilika development authority uh, they said that the direct sighting of 146 dolphins meant that its population in the lake would stabilize well above 150 okay so in future you can see more than 150 dolphins uh, in that particular area so the census was carried out by hydrophone monitoring technique which means that a hydrophone like a microphone will be designed to use uh, to be used underwater for recording or listening to the underwater sound so you can actually detect the dolphin sound okay so airavadi dolphin uh, is is uh, mainly found in the coastal areas in the south and southeast asia so it is seen in mainly three rivers one is airavadi airavadi is in myanmar and you can see in mahakam it is in indonesia and the borneo part of indonesia and then in mekong okay so the total population of these aquatic animals in the world it is estimated below 7500 and of course more than 6000 airavadi dolphins have been uh, reported from bangladesh and the dolphin distribution in chilika is considered to be the highest the highest single lagoon population okay why is it important it is I, its iucn status is endangered okay again the next topic is white rhino so we have a more uh, emphasis on environment today right so white rhino it is in news because um, uh, it is uh, the ivf been done to the rhinos it is reversing and uh, uh, an imminent extinction of uh, white rhino so we are using ivf to actually stop the extinction of white, uh, white rhino so researchers have created another embryo uh, the third of nearly extinct northern white rhino and this has been done using in vitro fertilization presently there are only two white rhinos in the world okay so the white rhinos or the square lipped rhinoceros uh, it is the largest uh, extant species of rhinoceros and the second largest land mammal okay so it has a wide mouth used for grazing as well as for most of the social activities of the rhino species and the white rhinoceros is con it consists of two subspecies okay one is the southern white rhinoceros and other one is the northern white rhinoceros so the northern one is very rare okay and they are found uh, mainly uh, in uh, africa okay and the white rhinoceros are classified as near threatened in the iucn red list the northern white rhino as i told you it is very rare so it is critically endangered and the southern one is near threatened don't forget the southern white rhino near threatened northern white rhino critically endangered and they are also called as black rhinoceros in africa the indian rhinoceros it is different different from the the african rhinoceros and it only have one horn okay and there is also java rhino is there uh, with one horn and there is also sumatran rhino uh, then uh, <coughs> that's it the next topic is youth collab 
So uh, this is a news because the Adal Innovation Mission aim uh, uh, that is an initiative of Niti Aayog and the United uh, United Nations Development Program U, uh, UNDP. So they are together hosting this uh, youth collab uh, Nation Innovation Challenge in Delhi. Okay, so basically this is a collaboration in India. This is a collaboration by AIM and UNDP. So this is for fostering the technology, promoting uh, youth leadership and also social entrepreneurship in the country. So four uh, winning teams will get to represent India at the youth collab. Okay, so youth collab is going to happen in Malaysia uh, in April. So uh, this event is actually been participated by more than 60 teams in New Delhi. Youth Collab, it was created in 2017 by UNDP and there is also a foundation involved, it is called a City Foundation. Okay, so UNDP and City Foundation together are uh, making this uh, Youth Collab, it is in existence from 2017 itself. The main aim is to uh, build a common agenda for the Asia Pacific countries to invest uh, in and empower the youth to accelerate uh, implementation of sustainable development goal. How? Through leadership social innovation and also entrepreneurship. So by uh, developing uh, 21st century skills, uh, catalyzing and sustaining the youth-led startups and also the social enterprises across the region, Youth Collab is positioning young people front and center in order to solve the region's most pressing challenges. Okay, so with presence in over 20 countries in Asia as well as in Pacific region, Youth Collab was uh, uh, launched in India last year in collaboration with the Adal Innovation Mission of Niti Aayog. Okay, so it will enable all the young students from all over the country and all over the world to participate in ideation and coming up with the innovative solution in order to achieve the sustainable development goals in our country. Okay. So that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much and good night. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Follow our website neoiascap.com for detailed content and monthly prelims digest. Also join our current affairs exclusive test series through the website. And finally participate in the daily current affairs prelims infotainment quiz at our telegram channel neoiasprelims at 9.30pm every day. Thank you.